BGN 362 Billion Technology presents The Coffer Times, where we will talk about construction procedures, pros and cons. Introducing Wan Ifan Nukman bin Wan Mahazi and Nur Khairin bin Tunu Azman to present The Coffer Dam. A coffer dam, also called a coffer, is an enclosure between or in pairs across a body of water to allow the enclosed area to be pumped out. This pumping creates a dry working environment so that the work can be carried out safely. Enclosed coffers are commonly used for construction or repair of permanent dams, oil platforms, bridge piers, or extra built within or over water. This are one of the example of the coffer dam. There are four types of coffer dams that we will explain in this video, and that is the first one, earth field coffer dam, the rock field coffer dam, the gravity dam, and the sheet pile coffer dam. Now, for the first type of coffer dam is earth field coffer dam. Earth fill cover dam. Earthen cover dams are at the place where the height of the water is less than 3 meter and the current velocity is low. These dams are built using the local available material such as clay, fine sand, or even soil. The height of the dam is kept 1 meter more than that of maximum water level. Free board of the dam or the top of the dam is kept 1 meter so that the water does not enter the other side even when the wave arrives. The slope is usually given but 1 by 1 or 1 by 2. The slope of the water side is pitched with rubble stone so that the water action does not score the embankment. Even sheet piles are driven in the center of the dam to resist water seepage. After the construction of earthen cover dam, the water from the other side is pumped out and construction is executed. We move to the pros and cons of earth fill cover dam. For the first pros of earth fill cover dam is it is suitable for low head of water because it is easy handling of earth. Next, it can be employed on sites exposed to flowing water if surface protection is provided. And the last one for the pros of this type of cover dam is it is lower cost to construct because it is just the earth filling. For the cons, first, it cannot be used for high velocity of waters because earth fill is not strong enough. Secondly, it is not suitable for greater depth of water because earth fill cannot withstand with a greater depth. And the third one is, it is high maintenance cost because the earth fill can damage easily. Next, we move to the second type of cover dam which is rock fill cover dam. Next, we move to rock fill cover dam. Rock fill cover dams are better than that of earthen dams. These dams are preferred when the rock is available easily at the construction site. These dams are very previous to prevent water from seeping and impervious membrane of soil is provided in the dam. The height of the dam is can be up to 3 meters. The slope can be maintained at 1 by 1 by 5 to 1 by 125. The slope on the water side is pitched as to protect the dam from the wave action. For the pros of the rock fill cover dam is it is stronger than the earth fill cover dam because this type of cover dam uses a rock as a fill. The next one is it is can construct on greater depth of water because rock is more stronger. And for the cons of rock fill cover dam is, it can only apply if there are many rocks around. And the last one is, it is took more time to construct because of the weight of the rock. Now, 
on to the next one which is the gravity dam a gravity dam is a dam constructed of concrete or stone masonry and designed to hold back water by using the weight of the material alone to resist the horizontal pressure of water pushing against it. Gravity dams are designed so that each section of the dam is stable and independent of any other dam section. Gravity dams are well adapted for use as an overflow streamway crest. Earth dams cannot be used as overflow dams. Due to this, a gravity overflow dam is often used for the spillway feature of earth and rock field dams. Before construction work in a river channel can be started, the stream flow must be diverted. The foundation must be excavated to solid rock before any concrete is poured. After excavation, cavities or faults in the underlying strata are sealed with concrete or grout. A cement grout and water are sometimes mixed with a small amount of fine aggregates which is sand is forced under pressure into the holes drilled into the rocks. Sections are poured alternately so that each block is permitted to stand several days before another one is poured next to it or on top of it. After the former is removed, the lateral surfaces of each section are painted with a paint asphaltic emulsion to prevent adherence to adjoining section and to form construction joints to reduce cracking of the concrete. A gravity dam requires the least maintenance than other dams. Gravity dams are relatively more strong and stable as compared to earth dams. It can build any height where the height of an earth dam. Gravity dam does not trial suddenly. It gives enough warning time whereas earth dam generally fail suddenly. Deep set sluice can be used in gravity dam to retard the sedimentation or silt deposit in the reservoir. Gravity dams can be built on a sound rock foundation while the earth dams can be built on weak foundation or permeable foundation with appropriate foundation treatment. The second one, the initial cost of a gravity dam is always higher as compared to an earth dam. Now for the last one which is the sheet pile cover dam. Sheet piles are sections of sheet materials with interlocking edges that are driven into the ground to provide earth retention and excavation support. Sheet piles are most commonly made of steel but can also be formed of timber or reinforced concrete. Prior to the installation, piles should be carefully inspected for straightness, cracks and the integrity of the interlocking component. Driving must be carefully monitored and should stop immediately if the pile ceases to penetrate the soil before moving on to the next pile along. One technique is to drive piles in panels. This involves pitching and driving two piles to part or full penetration at either end of a panel of piles. The panel is therefore supported by the book-ended piles during driving to their final position. The pile left on the end then forms the support of the next panel along. Vibratory hammers are often used to install sheet piles, although if soils are too hard or dense, an impact hammer can be used. At certain sites where vibration are a concern, the sheets can be hydraulically pushed into the ground. Sheet piles are recyclable and reusable. The work is neat, clean, and creates no spoil arising. 
this provision of work on site can be reduced and minimal storage space is required. Coffer dams can be constructed in almost any desired shape. However, for practical and they have a long life above and below water, making the advantages for marine and coastal projects. If the soil is rocky or has large boulders, it becomes difficult to install sheet into it. If you are going to use vibratory hammers or impact hammers to install the sheets into the ground, this can cause neighborhood disturbance. Most of the sheets are used as temporary structures. After the project is completed, the sheets are removed which can be costly. Okay, that's all from us. I hope you enjoy and have a good day. Thank you.